Hello and welcome back to another video. So today, um, I did a video a while ago about doing um, a wish.com sort of um, slingshot and I think it's a telescopic one when I went out there and there was a guy called Glenn from a cut of, he, he, he makes his own slingshots and sells them on eBay and his own website. Um, he's, this company's called West Yorkshire Catapults and um, he's put a message down below and said, would I mind if I if he puts a link to me, it's his shop onto my, onto my video. I said, yeah, that'd be fine. I'll share the wealth, share the love. I'm let other people come and see what's out there. And um, and, and I didn't, re didn't realise sort of from that. And I, I said, gave him a message, yes, I'm happy to do that. And um, and he said, he'll send me a, one of his latest creations of sort of sing shots. So this is um, a 16 millimeter apply left hand hold Valkyrie Hunter slingshot, in which he actually. So, um, no souls. When he only sent it to me, he wasn't actually listing him. He tested this for six months before he actually is happy with it. I'm um, sort of on there. Um, he said he asked me if it was left or right handed because it depends on which one he sends out. It's got a an 18 to 24, I think it was, mill, um, millimeter tapered green GZK sort of sling with a pouch sort of on the end of it, and a lanyard to sort of hold it in with a nice little gunny bobble to hold it. Um, I've been using this now for a while. I've taken out. I've taken out. Um, I've tried taking out hunting a few times, but every time I've gone out, I've been stunked. I haven't actually seen anything, or where I have, it keeps just running away so quickly. I wasn't quick enough. I'm um, sort of gone there, and, and a lot of you YouTube, a lot of the um, viewers over there keep putting little comments in there saying he doesn't know what he's doing. Why is he telling me about it? So, well, if you like, if you like that, just go to another channel. I'm, I'm learning the same as everyone else is learning. I just want to share my share my knowledge. But when it comes to learn knowing how to shoot, I've been doing that in the army for 20 odd years. Um, so I know the principles. It's just putting those principles into practice into this new into the new hobby which I've now got. It's um, slingshot, um, sort of on there. So I thought what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the marksmanship principles with you, um, which I have to use for the armed forces in actually doing a little bit of shooting on here itself. So the first one is the position and hold must be firm enough to support the weapon. So in this case, the weapon is a slingshot. So when I'm holding it, yeah, I need to make sure I've got a nice comfortable grip. My finger and my thumb is forearm. I've got the, the sling sort of on there, so um, it's a catty, catty sort of hold. And when I'm pushing it down, I push my wrist forwards and to give myself the pressure. So when I'm pulling back on this on the elastic, I'm pushing it nice and forward and pushing up against this, up against it. And I find that's really, really comfortable to try and hold. So that's the, the position of the hold. And also, the next thing you need to be able to do is your body position as well. You stand side on and see like that, you're not going to hit anything. Yeah, so. I learned to size slightly. Yeah, I have my left foot facing towards the target. My right foot faces are off off centre. I pivot my body, and I'm naturally point. I'm position and hold, and I'm leaning into it, sort of giving it, giving it some to make sure I'm going to take the pressure of the band when I'm pulling back. So that's the first one. The position and hold must be firm to support the weapon. The second one, the the weapon must point naturally at the target and do right by physical movement or position of the hold. Yeah, so I probably we worded that wrong. The weapon must point naturally target under the servant's position. Yeah, so to do that, I pull it back. I look at where I'm aiming. I, I close my eyes down. I lower it down. I bring it back up again. I open the eyes up again. And if it's roughly in the same place, yeah. So um, if it's in the same place every time, I know I'm naturally pointing at the target. Yeah, I was slightly over to the right that time, so um, slightly over, so I just twist my body a little bit and bring myself round until the target. Let's put it back again, bring it back down, bring it back up, open my eyes. No, I'm really, really low that time, so twist myself again. Yes, perfect. Yeah, so I'm now on it every time. Yeah, so when I blow my eyes, bring it back up again, I'm actually on the target. The next one is the sight alignment, the sight picture must be correct. So it's a, it's a straight. So what you're looking for is a straight line from your eye to the sight, whatever sight system you're using, and to the target. If there's a slight sort of thing off it, you're not going to have this thing or the sight picture. So if you're using a a telescopic scope and that, if it's slightly cloudy, um, it's not going to be very um, a good sort of shot sort of on there. So I look at the eye, the top of the target over there. If I had an aperture. Yeah, we were using the model east, so if I'm using my air rifle, yeah, it's the eye, aperture, sight, target, and that east, 
sort of coming all the way down a straight line. And the last one is a shot must be released and follow through without disturbance of the hold. So as I release the shot, as I, so I pull it up, as I load it up, as I pull it back, as I release the shot, what I want to do is remain in that position. If I remain in that position to allow the bullet to travel down without moving it, if I pull the shot and drop it straight away, it's going to move the, the bullet around the directory, the trip sleeve and all that sort of stuff. It's going to muck up my target sort of on there. So, position and hold, naturally pointing, sight alignment, shot. Oh, so I'm a bit low then. Like I, what I did, I was trying to nick myself on the way through. Not a very good first shot. So let's try again. Let's concentrate that time and not hit myself in my face. Here we go. Yeah, so I'm dead centre. Well, as in lateral sort of flow. I'm still over to the left hand side. So I'm going to trip myself a little bit to the right and bring it back round again. There we go. Hopefully that will stay up for the next shot. <laughs> Killed the target now. Let's put that back up. So get my body position back up, get them ready. And um, when, you, when you're happy, you start trying to get grouping. And uh, grouping is a three to five shots. So you want three to five shots all in the same area. Um, so that's what you want to go for. Yeah, with, with, with this one, I'll try to go for, try and get for three. Right, we've got, we've got a better position now. So I'm nearly in the black. Oh, I dropped, I dropped one now. But overall, I'm I'm very impressed with this catapult. I've gone over. I've fired a few now, and um, it seems to hold nicely. It seems to be consistent. So every time I fire it, um, it's always consistent. It did say to me that he wants an honest review. If it doesn't like anything, let me know, and it will change it. I really need to get some targets which actually fit in my target because this going back and forwards is a bit of a nightmare. But overall, I'm, I'm, I might want to have a slightly heavier band just to see what the heavier band's like uh, with this slingshot. I, I, I feel to me it feels a little bit light, but as I say, I haven't actually got, but looking at the travel down the, down the range, oops, it seems to be going at a fair distance anyway. I wasn't concentrating then. Let's go again. Here we go. Um, it, it, it's, so probably just me being me. I'm not really that experienced really to comment too much, but I, I like a bit of resistance when I'm pulling things back. And but when you're firing loads and loads, again you don't want too much resistance because you're going to hurt yourself eventually anyway. So it's probably a per probably why I tested for six months first to actually work out. I've run out. Of, I've run out of shots. I've run out of shots. I dropped one early one. There's some more down here in front of me. Uh, so um, I'm going to keep firing this. As, as, as I said, I did go out hunting. Well, I attempted to go out hunting and uh, I got stunk because there's nothing around. Um, I'm using, I, I'm using um, 10 mil steel. It's going really, really well. Oh, look at that. That was dead centre, that one. Now, if I can, if I can mass produce that all the time I'm actually well happy so um I think I'm gonna get a couple more bands off him oops 
definitely me. A bit of cocky then. I'm going to get a couple more bands off him. And um, so I've got some spares. That's it, that's gone now. But, first impressions, Glenn, I'm happy with this. And say, so if you want to check his, he's got a YouTube channel as well, and um, he does live videos and that sort of stuff, and you can do chat. What was that on YouTube? I saw it. Oh no, um, Instagram, he does um, live videos actually on Instagram where you can chat to him and that sort of stuff. And um, he's just a good guy, um, good guy. He's also done some other videos as well where he's tested these and with Blissic Gel um, in the time. But this is the Valkyrie Huntsman. Um, it's a left hand grip and I'm happy with this. So cheers mate, but just remember it's better to be one with the wilderness than to fight and struggle. In the next video, just, I'll see you then. Just remember though, the position of the hold must determine the support of the weapon. The weapon must be naturally the target, the sight line sight picture must be correct, the shot must release, follow through and deserve the position of the hold. Remember those four management principles and you'll be fine. Until then, see you then. It's behind that tree. There. What's that? I didn't see it climb off or go anywhere. Me neither. Camouflage, he says. <laughs>